Ed from Pinball Mayhem here. Time for a, not a, well, a quick update, but a big update on the Konami project. Uh, I have just finished, I uh, believe I am finished filling and preparing this for paint. I wanna talk about a little bit everything I did. First and the biggest thing, if you remember from my control panel video, I was talking about how that bottom was all trashed. I ended up just measuring up the board in there and I cut it out a square and I used a router bit called the tracing bit to trace this off of the X-Men box to trace the notch. And then I lined up the hole and I redrilled that with a, with a step bit on both sides so I didn't get any cutout. So I trace this, uh, I put the X-Men box upside down, clamped this to it, and I just ran the tracer bit around after I rough cut it. Turned out great. I ended up, <clears throat> the hardest part about the whole project was getting the old board out. What I ended up doing is I ended up setting a board on this edge or on this edge and I hit it with a dead blow hammer to knock it down slowly and work my way from one side around. I didn't want to break these corners loose because I wanted to you know, keep the structure and the, the shape. Uh, you can see a little bit of filling here, not a big deal, it's just not gonna be seen. But uh, I did do some filling on it, some corners needed some repair. Uh, it's ready for paint. I'm gonna give everything black a recoat that you see playing the game, a satin uh, black finish. It's not gonna show uh, marks as much as a gloss, but it's also going to hide more than a uh, flat wood. <clears throat> uh, so I am going to paint the bottom of this box. I got the hardware removed, and I'm also going to paint the inside first, and then I'm going to go and paint the uh, uh, the outside, including the bottom, so everything looks good and put it back on. It's just sitting here because this is a safe place to put it. Some of the other filling I did is uh, I ended up I showed you when I filled those, but I ended up sanding them down with, uh, with my orbital and putting filler around the, the edges and the cracks uh, just to make it nice and smooth. So ho hopefully they're not as noticeable once it's painted. <clears throat> the bottom edge, same thing. Uh, ended up sanding it real good first, ended up filling it. And um, uh, I'll talk about that corners in a minute. I did s run a lacquer thinner again on the side to get the adhesive off. I still need to go around those bolts when I stand it up. So it's almost ready for paint. Now, uh, a couple things I did on the bottom. Now, remember how I pointed out that that shape, that little bit of curve and this divot is very important to me to keep the uh, uh, the official Konami cabinet. So what I did is because it was getting, it was still mostly there, but getting chewed up. I ended up skim coating body filler on the bottom of this and I sanded it as far as I could until I mostly saw wood coming through. That allowed me to uh, strengthen it and keep it from fraying, but also when and if I do put a decal on this, because right now it's not going to get a decal, I'm just going to paint it black, uh, it has a nice edge to go to, and I could just repair up this edge if it gets chewed up and repair it. That's the biggest thing is I've seen some decals put on, and the bottom is all choppy, and it's like, man, all that work rebuilding the cabinet, and the bottom doesn't fit because, you know, a couple hours of work down here. And I did uh, preserve this shape the best I could, did the same for the front because this is where water comes in now what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually originally this was just kind of overspray painted i'm going to take a piece of cardboard hold it on the inside i'm going to make sure i get this whole bottom painted nice and black uh the, at least this lip to keep water and moisture from swelling it and almost anything you sand you're going to start sanding you're going to realize that this bottom is going to going to sand more than the rest of it and that's because a little bit of swelling will happen <laughs> over 40 years uh, and up here, same thing. I had a lot of swelling over here. So uh, just giving a good sand is good. Uh, same for the right side. I did go along the, the sides. I found some other issues. Biggest thing I want to point out is the repair work here. These corners were busted out. First thing I did, I believe I saw in one of the other videos, is I glued this piece back in. I did have both sides, but the outside was missing. So what I did is I took a... <coughs> A, a tracing router bit and I clamped a board here set this to less than the thickness of this board this is a half inch MDF I used uh, I used MDF uh, sometimes I, I like to put up if I'm putting a strip on the bottom I like to put hardwood in but because it's a corner and it, 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 it's gonna need a little bit of sanding I used MDF this time I set this less than the thickness of that board and then I, I, I route it out now when you router this do not work from the line out. 
First off, it's gonna be harder for the bit. Second off, you're gonna have less for your router to uh, support on. Of course, with this board, you can only go so far out. So I ended up just kind of working my way back until I got a nice clean and I did one final clean pass and that was good. Now I was gonna uh, fill the, uh, the T molding slot, that's okay. And same for this one, I ended up gluing a piece in here and I ended up putting a, a, a smaller chunk once again, a nice, did a nice straight cut. The one thing about having a nice straight cut is it allows me this piece to be cut straight to get a good mechanical connection that the glue is gonna hold. Cause glue is not gonna hold stuff if you have too much of a space in there. And um, <clears throat> so this is all good and strong. So the last thing I did is I ran a, a T-slot bit around the corner here. That's one of those things that it's, it's, it's kind of pricey. It's like 30 bucks for the bit, but of course, so are these. Uh, and the T-slot bit, I'll show you my router down here. Yeah, not the top of line router either. She's a quarter inch. This is a T-slot bit. I get it, got it from tmolding.com. This is an eighth inch thick. Um, this is, you get the quarter inch arbor. You can get a half inch arbor as well. And this is a, the eighth inch thick blade. Comes with a bearing. Comes in two parts. It's a white side. Uh, I've been pretty happy with that. So that's what you need for most arcade T-molding. Uh, so that's that's how I repaired that and oh here is the tracer bit I used for the uh, The control panel box, you notice it has a bearing on the top and the bottom So you make the bearing sit on what you're going to say trace and then the bit will follow on the wood now one thing to keep in mind Especially this is not not the top of the line brand not white side not 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 um, a few of the other brands that you're gonna see uh, you know, It's not perfect. So that will uh, sometimes chew a little bit of your tracer board up. Now, in this case, I really don't care. I got a really good cut, super happy with it. After looking at all the work it would have taken me to repair that board and add on to it, uh, I am not complaining about the way that box turned out. And it, it's, it took me maybe about, once I got my table saw finally cleaned off, about a half hour to make that board, another half hour to put it in with cleaning off and everything. Uh, ended up using some good wood glue uh, underneath these pads. I got it actually on the corner because I don't think originally it was on between this board and the sides. Retighten down all the original screws. So I am super happy with how that turned out. Now I am going to then my next stage is I'm going to paint this box because it comes off. Paint this and then I'm going to paint the front and this, the insides of this front and the bottoms and I'm just going to edge this bottom piece and I'm going to edge this a little bit when I'm painting the front the reason I'm not going to paint the whole side is I want to do that standing up but I want to get this edge really good while it's on its back so then um, <clears throat> once that's painted I'm going to put the feet back in the front I'm going to stand it up and then I'm going to assess the rest of it I'm probably probably going to pull the monitor out before I start painting I don't want to get overspray on the monitor the rest of the wiring uh, I'm just going to be careful with I'm gonna have a piece of cardboard in hand and actually use it to mask off. I might even tape a piece of cardboard on the back here uh, just to keep it from, uh, from blasting in. Um, but really uh, looking forward to this being one solid, nice clean color. The, the advantage of this cabinet was it was super clean. It wasn't rotten. I didn't have to do a large repair on the bottom here or anything like that. So uh, this amount of work is really literally, um, Probably took me about five, six hours today with the body filler. And I did the wood gluing yesterday. And I have about two, three hours in the wood gluing on both the box and the corners. <clears throat> so uh, over the period of a weekend with some free time, I was able to get this done. Stay tuned. Next next video, hopefully, we're seeing some black paint on. And uh, we're, we're reaching the home stretch on the Konami cabinet. Thank you for watching. Make sure to check out our other videos. And uh, if you want to follow along with projects like this on, as they're happening, uh, check out, uh, make sure you find us on Facebook. Thank you. Bye.